This is my ride round the year tis in Bristol, Lee Woods. <clears throat> year tis has been around for about seven or eight years and it is a brilliant trail. It is twisty and technical, fairly flat, but uh, <clears throat> it means that you can get a really good feeling of speed without actually going that fast. Um, this is on Strava, the start of Lee Woods Blue, which is quite a contested little stretch of about between 30 and 40 seconds for most people. I really like it. It's quite treacherous if you cock it up, but uh, <clears throat> as you can see, I've ridden it about 400 times, so I'm quite used to it. Just coming to the end of this section now, there's these logs so that you don't cross the main path too quickly. So they, do, they tend to do that just so that you uh, can cross all the main thoroughfares with a bit of caution. This is uh, Leewood's 2 or Leewood's second section and again it's quite flat and uh, maybe slightly downhill. The corners are a little bit burned so you can hit them quite hard. I love this section, it's quite swoopy, you need to be on the gears and the brakes quite a bit just to get it to flow. There's a nice bit here, just a little S-shaped climb and into the next section. Most of the corners are uh, slightly burned so you can hit them quite hard. But um, <coughs> these trails are really, um, are really prone to uh, conditions. When it's slightly damp, they're really greasy and uh, quite treacherous. But just at the moment, when it's been raining in the last few days, but it's dried out, it's not too powdery, and uh, you can really, uh, you can really get predictable grip out of all the corners. Some really nice berm sections now. It's been really well built this trail, and it's lasted a long time. They uh, do a bit of maintenance on it, but uh, in general, it holds out quite well. People are always trying to um, create shortcuts, but the trail police tend to go around and put logs across them. So the trails really kept its identity over the years. This is a really good section. You can hit the apexes quite, uh, quite tightly, and uh, you get a great feeling of speed going through it. all fairly flat, slightly downhill. About to uh, <coughs> come to the end of this section and then we're into uh, into the trees. I tend to ride with the suspension um, quite dialed down so that <coughs> you've got some you've got some bounce but um, generally the bike tracks quite tra tracks quite smoothly. Here we go, one, two, three, four, and then there's a berm at the end. And a left turn coming up and quite tight through here. Little S-shaped section here and then accelerating hard, just trying to get as much speed as you can. This section is called Leewards 3. And uh, it's really hard to get under a minute here. My best time ever is about a minute. But uh, on this run, I did one minute and one second. Here we come, a little downhill cork corkscrew. And then up again, right left hander, downhill again, <clears throat> quite quite hard here, and then uphill, and just coming up to the end of this section on Strava, Leewards 3. Little dip here, and then we're going to just come round to the right, and there's a couple of rock steps, and then you again you're crossing a main a main path in Leewards.
This is Leewards 4. I really like it. It's technical at the beginning. There's some quite flat, flat bends. You have to be uh, quite cautious off. Come off a few times here because uh, they're gravelly and they're quite, um, they're quite pitted from people breaking. And uh, if you don't treat them with a bit of respect, you can end up with gravel rash. And uh, in my case, I nearly broke a collarbone last year. Around here, a particularly untrustworthy corner coming up. And then climbing a little bit. Climb, climb, climb. This trail used to be called the uh, Ho Chi Minh, colloquially, by uh, local boys. But, uh, <clears throat> and it was around for quite a long time. I suppose I rode it for at least five or six years before uh, it got incorporated into the year it is. Lee Woods is like a clay soil, so... Uh, when it's wet, it's always been unrideable for weeks afterwards because it just holds the water on the surface. So uh, the introduction of the yurt is with uh, good drainage has really made it, made it so you can ride Lee Woods and Ashton Court um, pretty much all year round. It's really greasy when it's, uh, when it's damp, but um, it's quite predictable when it's in wet, when it's fully raining. It's actually quite fast. You just need to uh, play with your tyre pressures and uh, treat it with a little bit of respect on some of the corners. But in general, it's pretty fast. This is a downhill section and takes you through to one of the only climbs on this, uh, on this whole trail. I quite like this climb. <clears throat> it's not too steep, maybe about six to eight percent, but uh, it's quite tight bend. So the speed you can get up it is really limited by how fast you can get around these corners, particularly when it's wet. They're really uh, not very grippy, and it's really easy to swing wide on them. A couple of little jumps you can do on the way up if you're feeling gauche. And then the last bit, turning around to the right and back through a flatter section through the woods, coming to the end of the year it is in about half a mile. You can lose a lot of time here. If you really go for that hill, then you find you're just too tired to, uh, to push on here. But uh, I think I balanced it out quite well today. I did 8.32 for the whole ride, for the year it is part anyway. The year it is ends as you come to this car park. And then um, <coughs> on Strava at least, it becomes uh, the last section is uh, the completion of Leewood's lap. Such a brilliant trail. Very few towns have got urban trails like this, so close to uh, the centre of the city. I haven't seen many today, but you see a lot of people riding around with their kids, which uh, is a bit like Croyd but for mountain bikers. You know, you can imagine uh, generations of. Uh, mountain bikers coming out of Bristol just because of the proximity of this trail. This is Leeward 6, this section. Again, the corners are quite flat, so and when they're dusty, they can be really treacherous, but you just have to sort of lean off and treat them with a bit of respect. Run squirrel. <coughs> Thank you. 
weird seeing it on video. It looks much faster when you're riding it. That last lump and then what I generally do is drop a couple of cogs and you can push hard uphill on this section. It's a nice uh, <coughs> sweepy bit at the top and then you're crossing the uh, crossing one of the main tracks again. This is really nicely bummed up. It used to be uh, a drainage ditch back in the day but they've just incorporated it into the trail crossing the uh, main track and this is the last bit this is the end of Leewood 6 and there's one more section on Strava Leewood 7 it's difficult to tell where they begin and end but I think that uh, there's a sort of rocky gateway coming up and I think that's the beginning of Leewood 7 You can sort as you ride round. You can look for that. It's sort of dusty. There you go. Start of Leeward Seven, but you can see the little shiny, shiny stones in the centre of the track. And if you stick on those, it tends to be quite grippy. You've got the right tyre pressures. My best time through this section is about. 39 seconds. Oh no, 34. 34 seconds. Here we go, some nice tricky rock steps to take you out, and that's the end of the year it is, and Leeward's lap. Thank you for watching.